All right, welcome back guys. Um, so today is a very different day. Today I decided to take on this whole Murph thing. Dude, Steven, who I just recently met, told me about this challenge thing that's going on. It's like a Murph. I don't know if it's like a challenge or what, but I just know it's called a Murph. It's like a mile, like 100 steps, 100 pull-ups, and something else I can't really remember. Now I'm actually going to take my weight because I'm going to be doing it with a weighted backpack on the whole time, and I want to see how much the backpack actually weighs so that when I caption this, I can like tell you all like how much extra weight I did it with. And as you guys just saw, backpack weighs about 20 pounds. Um, I weighed in at 164 this morning. Um, yes, I have lost about four-ish pounds. Uh, I've been drinking a lot more water and being strict on my cardio, so I probably just lost some water weight and maybe a tiny bit of fat and whatnot. Before I head out, because um, we're going to go to a track and do all this, um, I'm going to go get some coffee because I need some caffeine in me today. So we're out here doing the Murph Challenge. I made James do it too. I don't know. What do you feel about it? Tired. Tired. Apparently that's his uh, go-to for motivation today. All right, so I got the timer right here. Well, I'll just start it when he gets to the track, James. When you get to the track, I'm starting it. A few inches later. All right, as soon as he's there. And come on. A few moments later. Come on. All right, come on. And there you go. All right, and James is coming up on lap two. Which means he's almost done with two. There he goes. And here's James wrapping up his mile time at around 6.30. That's actually pretty good. Not what I was expecting. See what he's gonna do. He's gonna be doing 200 push-ups. Let's get it. I already lost track. The pull-ups with the push-ups. So he just did 35 push-ups, I believe. I can't remember actually how much he did. So now he's doing some pull-ups. I don't know if it's okay to mix them, but I would think it is. Makes sense to me. All right, so James is at, well, it won't focus. Oh, there we go, 1350. He started mixing in some squats. So, yeah, but he's at 100 push-ups right now and 40 pull-ups. And I don't know how many squats. How many squats? 33. Last stretch right here. 10 more of those left and 10 more squats. Is it 29.40? What a champ. All right, dude. Mile starting at exactly 30. All right, see you at the finish. All right, so James is finishing up now. Um, in case you guys didn't know, uh, James has uh, asthma. So whenever he's doing something this intense, it really starts to kick up. So he finished, well, he stopped running at 32. So I told him we'll add eight more minutes as if he were walking the miles with like a half run in it. So that brings his time to 40 minutes in total. So James is finished in 40. And by seeing that, I think like, maybe I could do it in like 30 if I just go hard. I got this 20 pound backpack on, as you guys know. Um, so as soon as I get over there, James is gonna time me and honestly, like I'm crazy. So I'm gonna do this shit in 30. All right, here we go. Add respect to this dude for doing this with 20 pounds in his backpack. That is as hard as it was even without a backpack. Hey, 347, he's at the halfway mark. All right, 540, he's on the last lap. He ate when he finished that mile. 748 starting the pull-ups. Got 140 push ups, 70 pull ups, and 220 squats left over. Fifty-four. He's pretty much at the halfway point with everything now. Two fifty. He just finished up his pull-ups, push-ups, and squats. He's just got a mile left. Let's see where his time is. That's a little stretch. Let's see what his time can get. 
42.35. Hey, action, how do you feel? Dude, shout out to Steven and TJ because they've been doing this for like consecutive days now. No bullshit. Finally, 28.53, first time cracking 30. I'll take the watch off and show you. Fuck. mentally challenging things I've ever done by far and I'm like in shape and whatnot so I don't even know I don't even know <laughs> one thing I want to say real quick is if like you're planning to do this try to find like a vest if you do it with weight because like man with like a backpack it's like you're dragging you down so like when you're doing the pull-ups that thing is like jolting you down so if you have a vest it's gonna pull you down but evenly that was like so much more strength doing the pull-ups and whatnot but like if you guys do it let me know and like tell me how it goes i hope you guys enjoyed that nerve challenge it was actually really fun the thing like i was like man i hate myself what am i doing but then afterward i was like that was awesome like i finished it i did it with like 20 plus pounds and I don't know, I just felt like I absolutely killed it. Um, I suggest you guys go and give it a try at least, even if you don't finish it, because it's actually kind of fun, like afterward, like reflecting on, you know, you took on something and then like whether you finished it or not. I don't know, it was just really fun. But a lot of people on Instagram have been asking me for like a home gym tour, so I figured, you know, why not um, give you guys a tour of, you know, where I'm working out right now since gyms are still closed where I'm at and a lot of other states as well. So I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so the first thing you see when you walk in here is the stationary bike next to the rack of weights. And then you come over here to this big old machine thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys keep up with Dylan McKenna on YouTube, but he went and looked at weight things for his apartment. And this is one of the gym equipment things he was looking at. And he was like, oh, this thing's awesome. And yeah, it is awesome because it literally does everything you need. Um, it has the leg press, the leg extension, um, the tricep extension, shoulder press, bench press, well not bench press, but you know, chest press, um, back pull down thingy. Um, and then the weights are over here and then you can actually toss on some like extra weight things right here like you would at the gym. Also has a curl thing right here that you can attach with like a chain and whatnot. And then you come up over here to the dumbbell rack thingy. Um, it's Iron Master. This is an awesome brand for, you know, gym equipment, whatnot. Um, I think this is super beneficial, especially if you're in quarantine, because you can put on a lot of weight on these things. I don't know how much they go up to, but I think they go up to like upwards of like 160. So that, those are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then when you look up, you got all of the like bar things that you can attach for different types of workouts. And then right behind that, we have the um, hack machine, like hack squats and whatnot, and it actually switches over. So hack right here, and then you can actually lay back down on that right there and do more leg press. And then we turn around and we got the whole rack right here. Squat rack, you know, you can bench on it. And then we got a Smith machine right behind it. Um, and then we actually have like this thing right here. I've never seen this before at a gym, but you can actually take these pull them forward and use it as like a fly machine. And then you got the tricep extension thing right here. You got the back pull thing right here. And you got another set of weights right here. And then right behind that, we have the worst thing in the world, which is a cardio equipment thingy. And that was my home gym tour. It was pretty quick. Um, you know, it's just basically a whole gym in my garage. It's pretty good. Um, I honestly wouldn't have this if my dad, you know, wasn't really into working out and wasn't, you know, a bodybuilder. So grateful for that. It's an awesome setup. Um, if you guys can and you have the money, do something like this because what if another pandemic happens and you can't go to the gym again? Um, you know, so save up, maybe buy this uh, if you have the room as well. But other than that, I do want to talk to you guys about something. So I'm going to set the camera down real quick and we're going to talk about it real quick. All right, I can't really set the camera down, so I kind of had to like adjust my arm. I don't know if you guys can see on like the garage door and whatnot. This camera has a bigger lens, so I can't really like set it down on the platform on here. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about something I mentioned on my Instagram the other day. 
I said I had some pretty exciting news to tell you guys. Um, it might not be exciting to some of you guys. Some of you guys might be a little disappointed, but you know, that's okay. Um, you know, we all have our different opinions on things and I respect that 100%. I would never, you know, want to argue with someone on something, you know, just because of their opinion and whatnot. But um, I will be going to Arizona on Wednesday. Um, I have a business opportunity down there. Um, we already had made this like scheduled back after you guys knew I was going to Arizona back around like my birthday time and that was for vacation. This is something actually totally different. I'm not going to say what it is yet. I can't really talk about it right now. Maybe in the future. Um, if it doesn't go through, I'll let you guys know. Um, we'll see. I hope it goes through. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, it's whatever. James will be coming with me. I didn't want to travel alone. So he will be coming with me. Also, I will be going to Miami in mid-June. Um, I'm doing a photo shoot for this guy named Michael Downs, I believe that's his name. Doing it for like their new aesthetic unity thing. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, I can't wait to share that with you guys. I want you guys to know like, yes, I think traveling during this time period is very dangerous. Um, but you know what? Sometimes things only come up once in a lifetime and this is kind of like, how I see it. So I need to go do what I got to do. I will be safe. I will be wearing a mask on the airplane. I have no option. I think you're required to. Um, I will try to social distance myself from other people, you know, try to be aware of that and whatnot. But you know, when there's a business opportunity, it's kind of like once in a lifetime thing, you know, you got to take your chances, like how much are you willing to, you know, like risk for something and the chances there, like, and you guys are in this situation, you, you know, you might have a different opinion on it, but you know, I respect if you guys don't like me going there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, but it is what it is, and I hope you guys can respect that. But I just wanted to let you guys in on that. Um, and yeah, so I will be taking you guys along with me to Florida. At least I don't know about Arizona. I just want to keep everything on the low with that right there. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.